guys, Jessica from Peace Love Books, and same here with a new reading vlog that I'm very excited for that I've already started. So I've done this once where I read until I got a five star read, and I loved that vlog, so go check it out. It's when I was on vacation, and I read a, quite a few books until I got to my five star read. Someone also told me I did it wrong, and I still don't understand how I did it wrong, but I had a lot of fun. So I am starting another one, and I am starting with a book that's been on my TBR for months now. I'm already halfway through. I meant to start this vlog yesterday, forgot to film an intro clip, and I just read a lot. So I started this book because I was running on the treadmill, I need a new book, had this on KU. This one was sent to me by the author, but I'm reading it on my Kindle currently just because it's easier to like carry around and do things while I read, like work out. So this one I know is a new adult romance, so it takes place in college. He is a hockey player, and my only concern right now is that like I know this is a fake dating romance. I am literally just hitting 50%. They still have not fake dated yet. <laughs> and so I feel like if you're going to market your book with a certain trope, do it so that the trope is like earlier in the book because I'm like waiting and waiting and waiting for this trope to happen. So this one is the heroine accidentally gets placed in the boys dorm because they got her first and her last name mixed up and she has to dorm with Theo who is a hotshot hockey player on the team. She's been dating her boyfriend for four years and he's like, no, you're not moving in with me. I need my freedom and independence and like focus on my senior year. He's cheating. We know he cheats on her because that's the premise of the romance. He cheats, she fake dates. That still hasn't happened yet. We just got to the cheating part in this book and I'm 50% in. So I really do like the dynamic between the two though. I really love how they are dancing around each other. Theo is like, I don't need a distraction. I need to be focused. I want to go pro. And he can't stop pushing her buttons though. And now he feel it really feels for her because she just like caught her boyfriend cheating on her. So she is also very much like very dedicated to school and she's a dancer. So she was at rehearsal all the time and she's working all the time because her mom asks her for a lot of money because her mom can't support herself so she just has a lot of responsibilities going on and I really like her character so I'm excited to see what happens. We will see how I feel about the fake dating since it still hasn't happened yet but I don't know. It's so far a really high four. It might be a five. We will see. I don't know. What will it be? I hope this video is not over in like eight minutes if this is a five star read but we'll see if it is. Like I said I'm really enjoying it but if it's not who knows what I'm going to read next? Divine Rivals, I've been hearing amazing things about, so I could start that next. Though I just told my sister to read it, and we share the same Kill Unlimited account, and I don't really want to read a book the same time that she is, because that's just going to get really annoying when it comes to, like, syncing our Kindles. Because I flip through my iPad to my Kindle, so I need sync on, but maybe I'll tell her to turn hers on airplane mode. She's sitting right over there. Um, but we'll see. So this one's my first one, though, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Good morning. We are just gonna have all the light behind me based on where I'm sitting. Darcy decided to sit on that side of the couch. Look at that cutie. Um, so I'm on this side, but I am 70% into the book and I think it's gonna be four stars. It's not like five stars in love with it. They are fake dating, kind of. Kind of, like he kind of made up a dumb reason to, even though like he really likes her. So um, it's just, it's just good. I'm not like obsessed with it like I thought it would be after seeing so many amazing reviews of it. So yeah. And I mean like they've been fake dating for maybe like 20% but like they're doing a lot of things that like aren't fake dating because they're doing it alone and she's all like, I'm not your real girlfriend. So like it's not really fake dating. They're just like using it as an excuse to hook up kind of thing. So I do like it still. I do like the hockey that we get and I like her character. She is a dancer. So overall, pretty good but I am at my parents house we spent the night last night and we got to walk all five dogs I did run outside and then we took all five dogs on a walk a pretty long walk and they are so tired now so hopefully they just sleep I'm hoping to finish this within the next hour I think I can get it done in maybe like an hour and a half the 30 percent okay the glare behind me was bothering me but I did go to half race books yesterday I found divine rivals which I'm shocked because that's still I ordered it like two weeks ago on Amazon and it still has no delivery date and it says it'll probably come in September so so excited to have that I'm probably gonna read that next for this vlog 
and then the Lex Martin because I feel like Divine Rivals is going to be a five stars. So hopefully I read it and love it, but I'm just spending the day reading. I'm going to go pick up some lunch. I don't know what I want yet. I'm between Jersey Mike's and McDonald's. <laughs> So we'll see what I end up getting. And then I'm reading. And then we do have some soccer to watch because there were some games last night. Oh, sister, US plays tomorrow. I know. Oh my gosh. The United States plays Sweden. And it's going to be scary. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's my update. Looks like I haven't moved, I swear I have. I actually went out and got lunch and I got McDonald's, it was delicious. I finished week side. So I actually, this is so nice, not having ads on my Kindle. I did email customer support and was like, can you take the ads off? And they're like, sure, it'll be $15. And I was like, can't you do it for free? And they're like, let me check with my boss and make a one-time exception, and then they did. So you can get the ads taken off. But the end, there was like a lot, there were a lot of like plot not holes but like i don't know i don't know i'm like kind of teetering on a like it's a solid four kind of like a low four like a 3.5 four it was good leading up to it i was looking at reviews on goodreads though just to see normally when i'm like conflicted about a book and i'm like i just like something's bothering me i go to goodreads and i'm like that's exactly what was bothering me so she the fake dating plot was just like not paced well because they didn't start fake dating until 60 percent into here and then when they did it was basically like not even fake dating they like really liked each other anyways so it didn't feel fake dating and then there was some drama thrown in with her parents that Based on what her mom did, I was like, why is this not being seen as a much bigger deal than it is? Like, it was just like, oh, yep, and this happened. And I was like, you're not mad at your mom? And your mom's not being painted as a horrible person for what she did? And the whole hockey aspect was a little confusing because, like, the manager of the team went to see him play as a college player. And I don't know how college works, but that doesn't seem right like normally isn't it like in a draft and it's like whoever gets picked in the draft gets to go i don't know so that didn't like that didn't fully make sense to me like the team's manager for the hockey team was coming to like scout the the hockey player which like is that makes sense if it's like college to high school but is that realistic people who know hockey better than i do is that normal so it was just like fine and then i found myself like kind of like not as engaged in the story by the end because i also don't love love like new adult sports anymore as much so like reading candy signers i really like the adult aspect more so than the the college aspect so four star read it is not a five star so we are continuing on with this vlog i have bailey just joining me hello they were all just outside barking like crazy at my parents neighbor and we have five of them over here so my parents have three they're all actually down here we have two on the couch we have bailey next to us with my parents then we have Lily next to her, which is mine. Gigi's on the ground. Eva's on the ground. Those are my other parents' other two. And then Miss Darcy's on the couch by herself over there. Who's my other puppy? You guys know my puppies. But I am reading Divine Rivals, which I found at Half Race Books, which I'm so excited for. I do have it downloaded on KU, but I told my sister to start reading it because she needed a new book to read. And I was like, she read Fourth Wing, was obsessed. She really loves fantasy. So I give her any fantasy rec I hear. She uses my KU, so told her to download this she's more of a casual reader she reads like a few books a month like she really loves reading but she just is really busy and doesn't have as much time so she is a night shift nurse she's actually out to lunch with friends right now i am going to read this i'm trying to read the entire thing today we'll see we watched the first 35 minutes of the norway japan game first of all japan's kits which that means jersey um because i was gonna put their kits are so cute on <laughs> instagram but i was like people are not gonna know what i'm talking about so i said uniforms japan is pink and purple that is so iconic. I'm obsessed. I told my sister, I was like, if they win the World Cup, I'm going to buy a Japan soccer jersey because it's so cute. And they're dominating. They are so good. And whoever wins the US-Sweden game plays Japan. And I was like, as much as I love the women's team for US, I'm like, there's no way the women are going. Like, first of all, I'm already scared of them playing Sweden. Are they going to beat them? If they even beat Sweden, n no way. Like, Japan is probably going to take it all. So... 
Oh, it's a very crazy time to be a soccer fan right now, but I'm gonna read this. My other friend just started it today too, so I'll be texting her about it, but I didn't know this was under the dust jacket. And I have the British version, the Waterstones edition in my cart right now on Waterstones with the hardback shiny editions of Heartstopper 1, 2, 3, and 4. So do I wanna drop like $100 on a Waterstones purchase? Maybe. We will see, but I'm gonna read and then chat with you guys later. Hopefully this is a five star. Like, I wanna end this vlog today so I can start a different one tomorrow, so we will see. Okay, so I am 43 pages into this book and I initially, I was dozing off a little bit, I will admit, but it is that time of the day. It's two, like around this time, especially on the weekends, especially when I'm reading, I get a little sleepy. But it was a little slow going at first because I, I didn't even read the synopsis of this book. No idea what it's about. Obviously, I think there's rivals. It's called Divine Rivals. I was like, are these two the love interests? They're 18, which I like because I don't love, love like young, young adult. So I like that they're a little like older young adult, 18. And something just happened though that I was like, now I'm like fully invested in like this relationship and where the story is going. So it took about 40 pages. So I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, where are we going? We just figured out like a connection between them and like he knows something she doesn't know. Very interested. Hi, it is 8.30, I'm on page 166, and I don't know how I feel. It's very historical fiction-y. There's just like a couple things that make it fantasy, and it's like very slow pace. Like when I was picking this book up, people were like, oh my gosh, like this is so much better than Fourth Wing, read this. Fourth Wing is so good. I gave Fourth Wings five stars, I loved it. I love the romance, it was so action packed, so good. This one is very slow and it just, it takes place in the late 1800s. There's like a couple things that are like magical, but other than that, it just feels like a historical war book. So I'm not love loving it. Maybe I just built it up to something in my mind. I thought it'd be much more fantasy. I don't like historical war books, so. It's just fine. I don't think this is gonna be five stars. It just makes me so sad. So we'll see how it goes. If it's not five stars, I have to take a break from this vlog for a different vlog tomorrow. And then I will pick this up on Monday. So we'll see. I still wanna finish this tonight. A little less than 200 pages. Hopefully I get through it all, but I will keep you updated. Um, so I took a break from this vlog to film like a quick vlog this morning and that's already up, but I didn't read this for that vlog. I was reading other stuff and I actually been up since 4.30 this morning watching the US women's national team lose to Sweden the World Cup. Heartbreaking, heart-wrenching. I might have shed a tear or two at the end. We're not gonna talk about it. It is now 2.30. I finished the rest of this today. I was on page 200 and I read at 3.50. This is like a two, I like don't want to say it, but it's a two star read for me. I, the fact, I just went in because everyone's saying it's so much better than Fourth Wing. The romance felt very insta-love, I will say that. Wasn't a fan of the romance. The fantasy, where? Aside from the thing that was connecting them to, where? Where? It just felt very much like World War One, World War II fiction. And I don't like reading historical fiction, World War One, World War II. Like I think I've already said, I've read like a couple and like, it's just not my favorite. And this is literally what that was. She went to the front lines, they're on the front lines, like there's some battles. She's helping all these soldiers that are wounded. They have to evacuate, like, where was my fantasy romance? Uh, I'm just very confused. Very, very confused why everyone loves this so much. And it wasn't even like enemies to lovers. It was more so like we are academic, not even rivals, but like adversaries. Like we're just like competing for the same thing, but they obviously really like each other. I feel like he's liked her the entire time. And it was just boring to me. Like 
they just like were in this war and i'm like these gods are fighting this war and then we don't even see this one part of it until the end and i don't know i don't know what to think i don't know and then i was just like going on goodreads reading run one and two star reviews to feel validated because this was not it for me and i honestly thought this was gonna be a five star read maybe i just had this expectation too high in my head i had not heard a single thing about this book other than that it was fantasy romance and everybody who hates on fourth wing says to read this Maybe I'm just basic and I love a basic fantasy because I loved Fourth Me. I gave that one five stars. This was so slow and I was and I was determined to finish. I was like 215 pages in and I was like, I honestly like would have DNF this. It's just like a historical fiction. That's literally how this read. And I was like, there must be some good twist at the end. Predicted that was gonna happen. And I don't like it's just not I don't know. I don't I'm not gonna read the next one I'm very disappointed. I already canceled my order from Amazon because I had it ordered on Amazon And then I found this at Halfway Books and I told my sister like you can have this one because it does have like It looks like the box cutter cut through both layers right here I was like I will keep like the nice one You can have this one she doesn't like care care about like the conditions of her books because she just started it too And now I canceled that order. I don't need it. I'm not wearing the water sense edition like this was so disappointing to me and I still feel like the characters were just like there. I don't know. I just wanted so much more from everything in here and more fantasy, much more fantasy than what we got. I would have even loved like the letters aspect to be drawn out a bit more and like watch them fall more in love through them because I feel like that even felt insta love. So I don't know. And I just like don't care when they're going to war. Like World War One, World War Two stuff, I don't like. I don't like watching those movies. I don't like reading those books. And that's exactly how this felt. So maybe it's a condition of it's just me and I had too many expectations going in. But like barely any fantasy, insta love romance, not my thing. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to read next. I'm still at my parents' house. I'm probably going to go out and get some subs for my sister and I soon. Because she works tonight again. She's sleeping right now. She worked last night and tonight. We don't have anything at my parents' house to eat. So I told her I'd run out and get subs for us for dinner. And then I'll go home. And I don't know what I want to read. I guess I'll tell you when I update you next what I'm reading. Because I have no idea. I'm so disappointed. I honestly thought that this would be a five-star read. I honestly thought week side was going to be five stars. And I honestly thought this was like blood out of the water five-star read. So now I'm like, I need something. I'll go look at my bookshelves at home. Something that would be a five-star read. Like out of this world five stars. So... I'll go look. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm taking a quick break from work. It is Tuesday, and I'm annoyed with this book. I'm just like, is there an end in sight? Like, when am I gonna not have to read a book for this? When am I gonna get a five star read? So, I'm currently 80% into Second Down Darling. It's cute. I'm really liking it. However, I, I don't think it's a five star read. I think it's like more four and a half. Like, it is not a perfect five star read to me, and I would just feel like I'm lying to get this video done with if I gave it five stars. I really like it. There's lots of angst, and the sister is being a little bit like evil sister, like trying to ruin their lives because now she's on a reality show, and she's all like, my, there's always been a third person in our relationship. Even though the hero had no idea, the heroine has like been in love with him since freshman year of high school, he had no idea. But my computer. <laughs> I need to delete some things hold on i have so much on here for work stuff that when i do youtube stuff it like says it doesn't have room so a new computer is in my future at some point but um i am really just liking their relationship though i wish there was more about the son involved like there's not really a ton with like that single parent aspect even though every this like whole series is revolving around like single dads i would like a little bit more of the son to be like a part of the storyline but he's just more like oh he like saw him said hi and oh he picked him up from the babysitter kind of thing so four and a half so far for this one i'm for sure gonna finish it today however i was not going to include any audiobooks because it's really hard if i'm like reading at the same time like do i just like stop this vlog when i'm in the middle of another book but i started listening to seven year slip by ashley poston the audiobook said poston i've always said poston I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up an interview, but I loved the dead romantics and I just love books with like a little bit of paranormal or like fantastical element to them. This one, she is moving into her aunt's apartment and her aunt and her had a really, really close relationship. They would travel all over together. They Every single year, the same week, they would go somewhere together and her aunt passed away and left her her apartment and she didn't take the week off and her boss, she like works in like the literary publishing industry. Her boss is like, why aren't you taking that week off? You literally haven't taken a day off all year. 
and she's like i'm not and she's like you are she's forcing her to take time off and so she goes back home to her aunt's apartment and things are weird she's like there's things in here like the chair my aunt died in is here i got rid of it this thing that burned is still here what the heck is happening this apartment has this like weird thing about it where it'll go back seven years in the past and they will see people from seven years in the past in the apartment. And so it's not her aunt living there seven years ago, it's the guy, like a son of like her aunt's friend who was subletting the apartment that summer that she was traveling with her aunt. And so it's really fun so far. And she like told the story about how her aunt actually fell in love with someone seven years prior to when her aunt was living there when she first moved in. And that relationship obviously didn't work out because her aunt died single, but I'm, loving it and I feel like it's gonna be a five-star read so I'm gonna include it in this vlog because tonight I have reading sprints where I'm gonna finish Second Down Darling and then I might crochet some and listen to my audiobook and then try to read the audiobook tomorrow because I'm determined to finish this though I won't be walking the dogs tomorrow that's when I normally get a lot of my audiobook listening done because my sister worked today so I got to but tomorrow she's not working so typically like we switch off who walks the dogs and uh, it's okay I'm gonna maybe see how much I can listen to it tomorrow, maybe while I work, because it's so good. So this might be it. If not, I was gonna resort to finally reading The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford, because I think that's gonna be a five-star read for me, but I've been saving it, but I might as well just bite the bullet and read it for this vlog, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a five-star read. But hopefully Seven Year Slip does the job. I will keep you updated. actually got a new desk I don't know if I showed it in this vlog but I got a new desk I built it it's pink it's so pretty it sits I don't know if it's weird having my that open okay it sits right in front of my window and I take meetings in here now and thank goodness I had my first meeting in here and my sister said she couldn't hear me she was baking using the KitchenAid mixer could not hear anything that she was doing so I'm super happy about that my office is in my loft so it echoes. Um, I'm running out of battery. I finished seven year slip, five star read. Oh my goodness, I love this book so much. And I can finally end this vlog. I listened to the audiobook. There was just so much tension between them because like she knew some things that he didn't, but then he knew some things that she didn't because she hadn't continuously like lived every time they've seen each other seven years in the past, but he had because now he's seven years in the future and it's like her current time. I love a good twisted timeline and it's kind of angsty, not super angsty, but like kind of angsty. It's very sad trigger warnings for suicide because someone does die by suicide. It's really, really, really sad. Her books do deal with a lot of death and grief. And so I really love that being explored in here though by the main characters. It just gives a lot more depth to the heroines in these stories because they're dealing with a lot. And then also trying to grapple with their romantic feelings for the guy that's kind of like <laughs> fantastical. First one was a ghost, this guy, she knew seven years ago, but like to her, it was like last week. So there's a cooking aspect in here. He's a chef and I just loved every moment of this. Like I was thinking about it. I wanted to continue reading it. And I loved just how the timelines met up and how she's also dealing with her grandma mother who passed away and someone like her grandmother knew and I really like that so and she's also kind of having an existential crisis sleep like, with her job so so much going on in here I loved every second five stars that is the end of this vlog oh my goodness this was a wild ride this vlog gets frustrating because I'm like I want this to be a five star so bad and none of them were until I got to this one and I'm so happy I read this and it was a five star read because I loved it so let me know your recent five star reads and if you like this video if you want me to do it again what your thoughts were on these books let me know all the things but that's all I have as always thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye